Murph. Yeah, I'm Evan McIntosh. Dad, do you have a good feeling about tonight's game? You know, Evan, with a big-time sports broadcast, you can't go wrong. Unless the refs make the wrong calls, and you know about making the call, right? Right. Anyone who's in the market to buy or sell the home can make the call to McIntosh Realty. And our team works hard to make it easy and rewarding. Dad, don't forget the mobile app. The mobile app? You're right, Evan. When you download the McIntosh Realty mobile app, you can search for homes, contact agents, browse photos, and get current information on properties. And McIntoshRealty.net is another great place to start. You're right, Evan. Uh-oh, Dad. Looks like we're out of time. We better throw the broadcast to the Big Time Sports team. On behalf of the entire McIntosh Realty team, Evan and I would like to welcome you to tonight's Big Time Sports High School broadcast. And now, here's your Big Time Sports broadcast crew. Good evening and welcome to the Mac and Turf pregame show on Big Time Sports. Matt Ritzard with Bruce Witter tonight. ECOL matchup between the Dover Tornadoes and the Claymont Mustangs. On paper, it looks like a mismatch, but we'll see in a few minutes. Yeah, that's why they play the games, Matt. And you know Coach Scott Doak. He's a good coach. He'll have his team prepared. Whether they can handle the Dover pressures, got to wait to see. All right, it's 12-1 and one Dover against 1-11 and 11 Claymont. Coming up in a few minutes, we'll talk to the coaches right after this on Big Time Sports. When buying or selling a home, the first thing is to make the call. Back into building. Our marketing plan speaks for itself. We get results with over 700 sales last year. So, Molly and Colin, have you made a decision yet? Yes, we have. I don't know, Molly. That's a lot of money. It's the one I want. Buying a home Sign is one project. of the biggest decisions you'll ever make. We take that seriously. One of every four homes sold is listed by McInturf Realty. Make the call to McInturf Realty, the sign that sells. Hello, this is Tom Lodonna from Park Village Healthcare. Over the past several years, we have become a trusted provider of rehabilitation services following surgery or a brief hospital stay. Jane Snader, our Director of Rehabilitation and Therapy Services, has been working in this area since 1984 and has brought her knowledge and experience exclusively to Park Village. Jane leads our physical, occupational, and speech therapy teams that are respected for promoting evidence-based rehabilitation and therapy programs. These programs emphasize maximizing a resident's potential and promotes a timely and safe return home. If you are looking for short-term rehabilitation, please visit us. Tour our rehabilitation wing dedicated to providing our clients quiet, private accommodations. Meet Jane Snader and explore a rehabilitation experience that will get you back on your feet again. Park Village, where local therapists are building local relationships. We're located at 1525 Crater Avenue in Dover. At Rent to Own, you'll find nice people helping you rent to own furniture, rent to own appliances, rent to own electronics, and rent to own computers. We've got nice stuff that nice people like you need. Check out our great rental prices. You'll never own any cheaper. And be sure to look for our monthly specials on needed items for your home. We have great deals on our huge selection of products. At Rent to Own, we'll help you make your next purchase a whole lot easier. Stop in today. And we are back on the McIntyre pregame show with Bo Dover head coach Bob Von Kennel and coach. Things have been rolling along pretty well for your team. Are you happy the where where you're at as you move into the second half? Well, you know, you're always glad that you're picking up wins, and we know that we're capable of playing a little better than what we've had have been playing in the last couple games out. Tonight will require us to play a lot better. Claymont still, uh, despite their record, do a, do a lot of things very well and are always well coached under Coach Doak. What are some of the challenges specifically that Claymont represents? Well, the Cottis boy is a nice player who can score from the inside or the outside, and Shetler is a, a tough defender and a good scorer down in the post. So those two guys concern us the most. But then the Potopsky boy became eligible this week and uh, from a transfer there. So he's an unknown commodity to us. We haven't been able to scout him with him playing, so we don't know what to expect there for sure. What are some of the specific things you're looking for in terms of improvement in the second half? Well, we hope that we can reverse the ball well in our offense, get the ball inside other teams' defenses at the half court end, take care of it in the, in the front court, and then defensively get better at our help defense and communication. 
All right, wish you good luck. Thank you, Matt. That's head coach Bob Von Kennel of the Dover Tornadoes. We'll be back with more right after this on Big Time Sports. Omni Orthopedics is proud to announce their award-winning team now includes 16 of the very best doctors in their field. Since 1996, Omni Orthopedics has helped patients in Stark and Tuscarawas counties with issues involving the foot and ankle, hand and upper extremity, joint, neck, spine, trauma, and sports medicine with the finest physicians, staff, and medical equipment available. To learn more about Omni Orthopedics world-class care, medical complex, or for contact information, visit online at omniortho.com. Here's a year-end clearance that even Santa will enjoy. Hi, this is Pat Ferris from Ferris Toyota. Ferris and Toyota have teamed up for great year-end savings on some of America's best-selling cars, trucks, and SUVs. Save up to $4,000 on 2014 Camrys and up to $5,000 on Siennas, Avalons, and Tundras. And every Toyota comes with 24 months of no-charge maintenance. It's the year-end clearance event on all 2014 Toyotas at Ferris Toyota on the Wabash in New Philadelphia. We're called Weaver's Fine Furniture for a reason. From our handcrafted solid wood furniture to our American-made upholstered furniture, you'll see heirloom quality. Make your house a home with bedroom suites, kitchen furniture. Visit us in Sugar Creek at 7011 Old State Route 39. For directions, current specials, and more, you can find Weaver's online at weaverfurniturestore.com. Make your house a home with Weaver's Fine Furniture. Hello, sports fans. Mellow Tones here for my good friends from Wallhouse Coffee. I kick it in gear every morning with fresh roasted coffee beans from Wallhouse Coffee. Can't you just smell the aroma of Wallhouse Coffee in your kitchen? Don't be shy. Why not give Wallhouse a try? Wallhouse Coffee on the Dover Road in Sugar Creek. Big time coffee for big time coffee drinkers. Get a smooth ride with tires from Plum Tire Service Company on South Broadway in New Philadelphia. Visit the friendly folks at Plum Tire and they'll set you up with a set of quality tires at a price you can afford. With their years of experience, Plum will make sure your car has quality tires that fit your car or truck. Make sure your car is safe on the road with Plum Tire, 1075 South Broadway in New Philadelphia. This is the Mac and Turf pregame show on Big Time Sports. Matt Ritzert with Scott Doak, head coach of the Claymont Mustangs. And Scott, it's been one of those years this year, but it sounds like you've still got the kids playing hard, working hard. Yeah, I mean, uh, every night in practice they show up to work hard. They're letting us coach them up, and, uh, you know, we're just working as hard as we can. And, I mean, I know it doesn't show in our record, but, uh, you know, the kids have had great attitudes. and. Uh, just about everything that could go wrong this year is going wrong. So, uh, but you know, we still have a lot of basketball left, and we have probably probably the best team in our schedule here tonight in Dover. That I know that's not a, a, a good get well tonic for us, but uh, you know, we're going to play hard and see what happens. What kind of goals do you have for the second half of the season? Well, number one, uh, we're so young and inexperienced. We have a freshman point guard, and we're playing three other sophomores, major minutes, and our leading scorer and senior. Uh, Letterman, one of our two senior Letterman, just quit last week, so we're down to one senior Letterman. So we're basically, uh, you know, realistically, we're we're in many ways a JV team playing a varsity schedule right now. And my main goal is just to have the kids keep working hard and improving, and you know, hopefully all that adds up to some wins down the stretch here. All right, we wish you good luck. Thank you. And Scott Doak, head coach of the Claymont Mustangs, we'll be back with the opening tip-off right after this on Big Time Sports. Senior year is full of big decisions, a career path, a college, but it starts with fantastic senior pictures to celebrate accomplishments and showcase your personality. New Philadelphia senior Charles Murray chose Mitchell Studio to tell his story. Charles wanted portraits to showcase his many interests, from sports to music. I had a few just casual clothes, and then I had a bunch of jerseys behind me. I had my saxophone. They let me bring whatever I wanted. We took a few in the studio, and then we went to the baseball field, a soccer field, and got those pictures taken. 
Charles said Mitchell studio photographer Terry Barnhill made the shoot fun and offered insight while allowing Charles to be creative as well. He actually thought of a lot of new ideas or new poses, but he also let me pick my own and what I wanted to. It was easy. They liked to joke around and have fun with you when you're taking your pictures. It was a lot of fun. I liked it. For more than 30 years, Terry Barnhill has helped local seniors shine with images that will stand the test of time. Call Mitchell Studio today to schedule your senior session. Mitchell Studio, where photography is still an art. Since 1971, Chibos has been serving homemade pasta, soups, and rolls to people from all over the area. Chibos is located in Waynesburg in the former Mohawk movie theater. The recipes are the same today and the cooks still come in at 6 a.m. to roll out the dough. Recently, Chibos has added a selection of some of your favorite Italian wines to complement your dinner. We thrive on quality food, quality service at a reasonable price. Chibos is open Thursday through Sunday for lunch and dinner. What is peace of mind? Financial freedom. For most folks, financial freedom is built step by step over time. We help you build it with our savings and investment accounts like CDs, money market, and IRAs where you can sock away some money and earn interest on it too. Financial freedom is peace of mind. Let's build it together. Substantial penalties apply for early withdrawals on CDs. First National Bank of Denison, member FDIC. It's all about you. Trust is hard. Roll the film, let's see why. I got approved. It was a great deal for the car. I came to JD Bar Rider. The same day I left with the car. I was approved, and I've been happy ever since. JD Bar Rider is a great place to go. Whether your credit's good, bad, they'll work with anybody. I got the green light. You could get the green light at gojdb.com. JD Bar Rider. It's the way to go, go. And welcome back to high school basketball on Big Time Sports tonight. The 12 and 1 Dover Tornadoes take on the 1 and 11 Claymont Mustangs in an ECOL contest. The Tornadoes are 6 and 1 in league play. The Mustangs 1 and 6 in the conference. And we'll get things started by taking a look at our Park Village Health Care Center keys to the ball game, Bruce Witter. Yeah, it was a young team for Coach Scott Doak. Matt Claymont needs to play with some confidence, try to get off fast, don't get in a hole early. Dover, on the other hand, needs to play smart, avoid the mistakes, and once again, it's the type of game where you can little, be a little overconfident and they can't be that. Both teams need to shoot the ball well from the foul line because neither one lights it up from the foul line. They're both in the 60% range. All right, your uh, Park Village Healthcare Center keys to the ball game. And now your starting lineups tonight brought to you by Mike Fredericks in Sharon's and for the visiting Dover Tornadoes. The Tornadoes with Corey Contini, Micah Keith, Evan Snyder, Austin Wafflin, Blake Blair in that starting lineup. Three players in double figures, Contini and Laughlin and Blair all averaging right around 12 points a ball game in a very balanced Dover attack. It's a young group for the Climate Mustangs, a very inexperienced group. Brendan McGarry, Tanner Shetler, Lane DeLong, Brian Ruffini, and Joe Cottis. Joe Cottis, the leading scorer on the year, averaging about 11 points a ball game. Coming off the bench, Jake Smith averaging about eight a contest for the claim to Mustangs. JV game tonight was won by Dover, 50 to 14. And the Claymont Mustangs have lost eight in a row since their loan to victory, a 51 to 47 verdict over the Coshocton Redskins. The Mustangs fell to Marietta, 73 to 40 last weekend. Fell behind at 22 to eight after one quarter of play, and that's something they're going to have to avoid tonight. 
The Dover Tornadoes are 12 and 1. Beat Zanesville Rosecrans last weekend, 44 to 21, in a slow-paced ball game. Austin Laughlin led the way for Dover with 14 points. Dover's only loss on the year coming at the hands of the Zanesville Blue Devils in League of Play. This is the type of game, you know, a young team with Claymont, they have to make every possession count. They can't turn the ball over. They've been prone to turnovers all year. They average 16 or 17 a game, and that fits right into Dover's defense. They're going to be in their face man-to-man, -man, you know, defend the back cuts and so forth. On the other end, Claymont, you know, that motion offense of Dover, Matt, you've got to defend that back cut. they got to play good, solid defense. Jumping center for Dover, Austin Laughlin against Brennan McGarry. It is the Dr. Kurt Guerin tip-off. Donnie Giffen, the official, tosses it up. Mustangs control the tap, and quickly to the basket is Joe Cottis, and the Mustangs lead it 2 to nothing. Nice move on the opening tip-off. Micah Keith, the point guard for Dover, throws it into the corner to Snyder, low to Blair. Ball stripped away and knocked out of bounds. And again, Cottis making the defensive play. Here's a little, for the little different look by Coach Doak's going to open up in a 2 3 zone to try to defend that motion offense of Dover's. Shot goes up, no good. Cottis gets the loose ball rebound. And across the timeline, it's DeLong. DeLong to the foul line to Cottis. Cottis left to the lane. Throws it out front to DeLong around the horn. It goes. Pass in the lane, knocked away. And Dover has it on the steal. And the Tornadoes tie it up. And on the basket was Blake Blair. Cottis between the circles. Pass goes into the lane to McGarry, to Shetler. Shetler spins to the basket, missed it. Rebound pulled down by Dover, and we have a jump ball call. Alternating possession will give it to the Mustangs. The Dover Tornadoes to the attack. Ball goes down low to Laughlin. Throws it out front, stolen away by Ruffini. On the breakaway, lays it up, missed it. And Blair follows with a rebound. Got to make every possession count, as Bruce said. Now there's another turnover. And the Mustangs will get the ball back. It's tied 2-2 two to two in the early going. And it is Joe Cottis at the point for the Mustangs. He is a freshman to Ruffini, curling to the foul line. Tries to dump it low. The ball knocked out of bounds. And it will be Dover basketball. And Contini will inbound the ball to Mike Keith. And Keith, the 5'11 senior, will bring it up to the floor for the Tornadoes. To Contini, wing to the right. Contini. Throws it in low to Laughlin, and he walks with a basketball. Third turnover for Dover so far, Matt, in this game early, early in the first quarter. They only average about eight turnovers a game. Very uncharacteristic of the Tornadoes, and that's creating an open door for the Mustangs here in the early going. DeLong to Cottis, and a whistle, a foul, will go against... Uh, Shetler setting the pick. Offensive foul on the on the uh, block, the pick. So another turnover for Claymont. Still knotted up at two. That Blair to Keith to Snyder. Snyder wing to the left, back on top to Keith. Gives to Snyder, launches the bomb. Got it. Well, yeah, there's a couple of different ways to beat a zone defense, Matt. That's one of them. You can shoot over top from long range, 
if you can make it. The other ways you've already seen, beating them down the floor. Uh, Schneider on the steal, the breakaway, beating them down the floor. Got the basket. Snyder with back-to-back -back baskets. And Mount Hope defensive replay here as you see Snyder stepping in front and getting the breakaway. A timeout called by the Claymont Mustangs gives us a chance to tell you about Weaver Appliance on Route 39 in Sugar Creek. They've got washers and dryers, refrigerators, dishwashers, ovens, freezers, fair prices, and excellent customer service at Weaver Appliance, Route 39, Sugar Creek, 330-852-4555. So like I was talking about, there's a couple of ways to beat the zone defense, and Bob Von Kennel, being the veteran coach he is, going to utilize all of them. One's beating it down the floor, attacking the basket before they can get set, shoot over top of it, or work it from inside out to beat it. Mustangs to the attack, Ruffini. Baseline, Shetler. Shetler on top to Cottis. And Cottis throws it out front, Ruffini, right near the center line. Down into the corner to DeLong. Back on top, Cottis. This is. McGarry and his pass stolen away from Snyder. Snyder with another steal. Snyder bounce pass low to Contini. Contini throws it up at him. And Dover pulling away now. Nine to two. Forcing a lot of turnovers. Yeah. All these scores have come pretty much off of turnovers so far, Matt. Playing the man-to-man -man defense. And there's Snyder again knocking the ball away. Blair picks it up. Blair back out front to Keith, to Blair. To Keith, to Contini. Dover will now back it up. A reset in the offense. Blake Blair, Mike Keith. Keith sideline, all right. Throws up the long bomb by Blair, and it's good. And Blair has five. And another timeout by the Mustangs, and all of a sudden it's 12 to 2. Yeah, they, they changed up defense that time, went to man to man. There you see the Weaver Barnes replay, knocking down the three from outside. Dover's hit five straight shots now here in the first quarter. Dover is showing a 12 0 run as Claymont scored the first basket of the ball game. From suits to work boots, try Miller Clothing and Shoes in downtown New Philly. Marty Miller has a team of all-stars like Hager, Lee, and Wrangler Jeans for your feet. It's Hush Puppy and Red Wing Shoes. To complete the wardrobe, Carhartt, Van Houston, and Arrow. The best at Miller Clothing and Shoes. See Miller Clothing and Shoes today. Keep your socks high, your powder dry. Give Marty Miller a try. And that's one of the uh, keys of the game. Said Claymont had to come out and start off fast. Well, they're not, and they, uh, they're going to have to stop this run by Dover right here, get some points on this possession. Cardis into the corner to McGarry. Back on top to Cardis. DeLong. Ruffini and McGarry. DeLong in the lane. DeLong, no. Blair gets the rebound. Mustangs come away empty again. And Mike Keith runs the offense for the Tornadoes. Gives to Blair. To Snyder. Snyder kicks it into the corner. The jump shot is up and in by Brass, who has checked into the ballgame. Four different Mustangs have scored. Six straight shots Dover's hit since missing their first two. And it is a 14-point run. Another turnover. Contini on the breakaway. Off the glass, no, but a foul. And it'll be Contini to the line to shoot two. And like you talked about earlier, Matt, most of these scores have come off of Dover's defense. I mean, they play such great defense. They play defense with their feet. They do a good good job of getting over top of picks and so forth, and that, that's the whole 
They, they just control the tempo of the game with their man defense. Continue made the first one. He was fouled by DeLong, his first team second. And continue with a second of two. Got it. Four for Contini. And the Claymont Mustangs making some substitutions there. There's another steal in the backcourt. Micah Keith gives the basketball in the lane to Brass. And now Brass loses it. And getting the takeaway was Gavin Mooneyham just into the ball game to DeLong into the front court. DeLong throws it on top to Mooneyham. Gives to DeLong, and DeLong is fouled going to the basket, and he'll get an opportunity at the charity strike. He was fouled by Laughlin, the Weaver Barnes replay. Laughlin with the reach in. Need to get some points here to stop this 16-0 run. Foul shot spins out. DeLong a 50% foul shooter on the year. And they only shoot 60% as a team, Matt. Second one, no good. And the Mustangs get the rebound. Brass comes down with it. 16-2, Dover leading first quarter. It is Blair, wing to the right, top side, Keith. Throws it down low to Contini, and he dropped it in. Wow, Dover putting on a show. Yeah, nice low post, post up there by Contini that time. Little fadeaway jumper, 16-point lead. Cottis front court. Mooneyham, and we have a foul away from the ball, and that is on Laughlin, and I believe that's his second. Yep. It is. He will sit down. And into the ball game for the Tornadoes is Christian Randazzo, the six-foot senior. Mustangs inbound the basketball to Potopsky. And pass inside goes out of bounds off of the hands of Logan Potopsky, a six-foot-four junior transfer student, has just become eligible. This is his second game with Claymont, played for Strasburg last year. It is Contini, wing to the right. Contini down low, gives it up to Brass, and he banked it in. Nice feed from Contini. Almost too easy. Well, not almost, was too easy. Dover has scored 20 in a row. Caught us, wild shot off the glass. No good. Dover with a rebound. Final minute of the first quarter. It's been all Dover after the first minute or so of the quarter. Yeah, first score was by Claymont off the opening tip, Matt, and that's all they've seen. Another whistle away from the ball. And this is against DeLong, his second. And the third on the team. Dover inbounding the ball into the corner. The jump shot for three by Blair is good. They're not missing much. No. Blair with eight. Wow. They've knocked down every open shot they've had so far. They haven't, they've haven't. only missed three shots here in the first quarter. Caught us. Wing to the right. Long jump shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Dover. That last shot by Smith off the mark. So we played one quarter. The score... Claymont, two, Dover, 23. We'll be back after this on Big Time Sports. Dumont Sporting Goods has been outfitting winning teams since 1977. Put Doug Clark and his experienced staff to work for your team. See them for school jackets, silk screening, and embroidery. Dumont's is especially proud to be your exclusive area Russell Athletic Team Specialist. All of the name brands you love, close to home. That's Dumont's Sporting Goods on Tuscross Avenue in downtown Dover. Team specialist since 1977. 
Woods Tall Timber Resort is a vacation that's close to home. The Seven Acre Lake is the focal point of the resort with camping May through October. Splash away your summer days at the beach and in the fall enjoy brilliant colors from your own private cottage. Whether you enjoy primitive camping or the amenities of home, Woods Tall Timber Resort has it all. Luxurious cottages feature equipped kitchens, a full bathroom, and room for eight guests. The resort includes a clubhouse, concession stand, bait shop, shower house, and laundromat. And the recreation never ends. Enjoy Enjoy summer fun on water slides, inflatable trampolines, paddle boats, and electric boats. Plus house rentals, fishing, game room, playground, woodpecker par 3 golf, and miniature golf. And of course, hiking trails. And now Woods Tall Timber Resort has zip lines. It's the best value around for this exciting way to fly. Rides start at just $15. Small zips and kitty zips are also available. And the Lake House Lodge can accommodate your party, reception, reunion, or event. Check out all of the fun online at woodstalltimberlake.com. Tell me, are you confident in your financial game plan? I'm Matt Ferris, President of Ferris Financial. If you're like most people, you've probably spent a lot of time talking about getting your financial affairs in order, but for some reason, the game plan has never come together. At Ferris Financial, we're here to help you solidify your personal, business, and estate planning goals so we can build a winning game plan together and help you achieve peace of mind. Call us at 330-321-1413. Ferris Financial, helping you plan, protect, and prosper. Off Spotty Shop, first quarter recap. Well, all Dover, I guess, is about all you can say. Claymont scored the first two points of the quarter off the opening tip. Dover's defense held them scoreless for the next seven minutes and 55 seconds, I guess you would say, and Dover has not missed any shots. Nine of 12 here in the first quarter. They've scored 23 in a row. Blair with eight, Contini with six, Snyder with five, Brass with four. A lot of people getting into the act for the Dover Tornadoes. Randazzo, Snyder, Here. Ross into the ball game, Contini for the Dover Tornadoes. Here. For the Claymont Mustangs, I'm sorry, Bruce. That's okay. Here, Jake Smith inbounds. Here's where Coach Coach Doak wants to see if his how his team's going to respond to this type of situation. You know, a young team like this just wants to see if they're going to fold up ten or they're going to keep playing hard for him. He says it's been a good, hard working group. Been a pleasure to coach. Just very young, very inexperienced. Had some kids quit, but those that remain have been working hard. Just have not seen much success out of that work. This is Contini, a little bit too strong. Rebound, finally controlled by Randazzo. To Snyder, Snyder flashes to the basket and laid it in. The beat goes on for the Tornadoes. 25 straight, Matt. Dover ranked 10th in the state of Ohio coming into the ball game tonight. Pass on the block, stolen away by Randazzo. Contini on the fly, in the corner, Snyder. The three ball won't go. Randazzo, the rebound, stick back. No, this is Randazzo again, and he put it up and in after a miss by Ross in between. Lots of opportunities that time for Dover. The other way, Snyder, Contini lays it in. Cantini with eight. This is DeLong between the circles. Takatis. In the corner, Smith. Jake Smith. High post, Takatis. Back to Smith. Smith will take the jumper. Got it. And finally, the Mustangs get back on the board. Breaking a 29-point run by the Dover Tornadoes. Yeah, and most of that's been set up by Dover's defense. I mean, they've been extremely efficient on a defensive end, forcing 11 turnovers so far. Brass giving the basketball to Ross. Goes down low to Randazzo, and he's fouled. And I believe he'll get a couple at the line. The foul, you see it on the Weaver Barnes replay. 
Leaving his feet and committing the foul was Cottis, his first. Randazzo, foul line, got it. If Dover has a weakness, it's the foul line. Right now they only shoot about 65% from the free throw line. That's just two out of every three. So, so far they're three of three tonight. Randazzo got them both that time. Mustangs with more substitutions. Ruffini back into the ball game. Ruffini giving to Smith. Smith off of the back of the rim. No, the rebound controlled by Ross of Dover. He'll give it to Snyder. Snyder pushes it front court. Snyder to Blair. Three ball on the way. Rim, no. And McGarry pulls down the carom for the Mustangs. Ruffini into the front court. Ruffini. Low to Shetler. Shetler trying to maneuver for a basket and walks with the ball. And the turnovers continue to pile up here in the, the uh, first half. Only, a, you know, three minutes into the second quarter. 13 turnovers for Claymont. Front court for the uh, Dover Tornadoes now is Zach Rafine. He's a 6'2 junior. Gives the ball to Evan Snyder. High to the right. Blake Blair. Snyder open for three. Hit it. Ten for Snyder. And a 29-point lead again for the Claymont Mustangs. Or for the Dover Tornadoes. Mustangs struggling mightily here. And between those circles, it is Ruffini. Goes on to the right wing to Smith. Down low to McGarry. And McGarry off the window. No. Blair the rebound for Dover. On the run. Blair skips it down the floor. Comes out to Snyder. To Blair. Foul line jumper. Yes. Ten for Blair. 31 point Dover lead. And at midcourt, we're going to have a foul. Snyder, his first, team's third. DeLong back on for Claymont, and Mike Keith reports for Dover. Snyder sits down with uh, 10 points and a bunch of steals. Yeah. He's created some havoc defensively. Uh, yeah, that's the thing about Dover's defense. They only have three team fouls here in the first half, and they're extremely aggressive on defense. But they play defense with their feet and don't reach and try to slap all the time. DeLong in the lane. Too strong off the glass. Dover back to the attack. <coughs> A ravine. Back to Micah Keith. Micah Keith on the end line. Beautiful. His first two of the ball game. Six tornadoes in the scorebook down. And that's they're 15 of 23 unofficially from the field here in the first half. Potopsky gives it to DeLong. Down low to Shetler over his head. And Blair picks up the loose basketball for Dover. Wing to the right. Long three ball by Dover. No. And a foul on the stick back. After Ross missed the long jumper. And they see it on the Weaver Barnes replay. A good job on the backside. Rebound right there. Takes it back up. Gets fouled. Go to the line. And first foul shot by Ravine. No good. The foul was on McGarry, his first. This is Zach Ravine, 6'2", junior. At the charity stripe for the Tornadoes. His foul shot is good. And Ravine comes the seventh Tornado to score in the ballgame. Logan Potopsky, 6'4", junior, holds it out front for the Claymont Mustangs. McGarry at the circle. McGarry tries to drive inside. It is tied up by Blair and is called for traveling. Another good defensive stand by the Tornadoes. 
And you, you defensive can, clinic. Yeah, you can see the difference here, Matt, on the offensive ends when Claymont's in their offense. Young, inexperienced team, do a lot of standing around, not much cutting and so forth. But you watch Dover experience, a lot of cutting, a lot of picking away from the ball, back cuts, looking for the open man. The ball doesn't stay in one place for very long. Ravine. Is it wing to the right to Blair? He drives for the basket and he banked it home. Blair with 12. The end of the game, we'll be picking our Manor Restaurant player of the ball game. Well, the foul call on Dover here is Mike Keith. A little push. And on the end line, it'll be the Mustangs to throw it in. This is Ruffini. Throws it into McGarry. McGarry, high to the right, underhands to Ruffini. Brian Ruffini, a 5'10 junior to Potopsky, a 6'4 sophomore. Back to McGarry. McGarry to the foul line. The jumper partially blocked by Laughlin. And a foul call. And if it is on Laughlin, that's his third. Yeah. He's coming out, and Contini's going to replace him, I believe. It's the only thing that has not gone right for the Dover Tornadoes is Austin Laughlin, a 6'3 senior, getting into some foul trouble with three. It's not scored. First foul shot up by McGarry is good. That's his first point of the ball game. There was it. And then put the point on the board. Second one is good. Yeah. 42 to 7. He made them both. Contini against McGarry. Out front it is Contini. Contini to Blair. Blair sets, shoots, scores. Wow. Nice stroke there by Blair. Face up to the basket. 15 first half points for Blake Blair, 6'2 senior for the Dover Tornadoes. This is Potopsky driving to the basket, banks it home, and is fouled. Nice move to the hoop by Logan Potopsky. Right, it's a charge. See it yep. on the replay. Oh, charge. Charging call takes yep. the basket away. You'll see it right here. Good, good defensive play. He's set right there. Yeah. No doubt. Good call. That was a good job by Callahan Ross to get position. Contini. To Keith, to Blair, in and out. Rebound, controlled by Ravine. To Brass, low to Blair. Kicks it out to Contini for three. Yes, great ball movement. Yeah, great knack of finding the open player. Very unselfish offense when they get into their offense, Matt. A 40-point first half lead for Dover. McGarry. Under hands to Cottis, to Ruffini, to McGarry, Cottis. Cottis deals it inside to McGarry, and McGarry guarded closely by Blair, and they'll call the foul on Blair. That's his first. Team six, both teams with six team fouls here in the first half. Just 20 seconds to play in the half. McGarry between the rings. Sideline right to DeLong. Takatis to Ruffini. Down to 11 seconds. Takatis, Takatis on the end line. Tries to dish it off. Stolen away with three seconds. It is Brass with a long three at the buzzer. He got it. Why not? Everything else is going in. You see it on the replay. Before we break away, Brass got the steal and fired up a long three. We're at halftime. The score, Dover 50, Claymont 7. We'll be back after this on Big Time Sports.
If you or a loved one suffer from allergies, chronic sinusitis, or have trouble with your hearing, call the office of Dr. Kurt C. Guerin, ear, nose, and throat specialist. Their audio team of Krishnell and Angie Hisner will evaluate or prevent hearing loss. Dr. Guerin's team can diagnose and treat your season allergies. And they perform balloon sinoplasty. It's a new in-office procedure to treat chronic sinusitis. Don't suffer any longer. Call Dr. Guerin for an appointment today. Located in the Heritage Square Shopping Center in Dover. 330-343-9600. Home improvements make your life easier and add to the aesthetics and value of your home. Look to the Wayne Garage Door Sales and Service Showroom for garage doors, entry doors, storm doors, windows, gutters, siding, heritage stone, and awnings. Plus knowledgeable associates to help you create a distinct look for your home. Wayne Garage Door, quality workmanship and service after the sale since 1973 on State Route 39 in Dover. More than just garage doors. Tom Hampshire Insurance Agency, your professional insurance experts representing the Motorist Insurance Group. Team with Tom Hampshire for all your insurance, auto, home, business, and life. Tom Hampshire Insurance Agency, winning your insurance trust for over 50 years. Professional service, professional products. Tom Hampshire Insurance Agency and the Motorist Insurance Group, your hometown insurance experts in the Tuscaroras Valley. Call today, 1-800-682-0145. The Inn at Northwood Village is a premier assisted living residence. Each private suite is designed to offer the optimum comfort, security, and privacy. Personalized services include a 24-hour on-site licensed nurse, three full meals daily, cable TV, utilities, daily social events, and weekly housekeeping. Our caring professional team provides the best in senior assisted living care and services. Models of assisted and memory care suites are open. Call today to schedule a tour. The Inn at Northwood Village, where your family is our family. At Rent to Own, you'll find nice people helping you rent to own furniture, rent to own appliances, rent to own electronics, and rent to own computers. We've got nice stuff that nice people like you need. Check out our great rental prices. You'll never own any cheaper. And be sure to look for our monthly specials on needed items for your home. We have great deals on our huge selection of products. At Rent to Own, we'll help you make your next purchase a whole lot easier. Stop in today. It's the First National Bank Halftime Show on Big Time Sports. The Dover Tornadoes dominating the Claymont Mustangs 50-7. to At the half, Dover outscored Claymont 23-2 to in the first quarter of play and 27-5 to in the second quarter. And with the statistical story, here's Bruce Witter. Now, not much statistic-wise to talk about here except for the fact Dover shooting lights out with the basketball 19 of 29 here in the, in the first uh, 16 minutes of the game. Claymont only 2 of 12. Free throws, Dover 5 of 6. Claymont 2 of 4. Rebounding, Dover 15. Claymont 4. And an obvious huge stat, Claymont's turned the ball over 16 times. Dover only 4 times. Dover shooting the ball well. They're taking good care of the basketball. And they're rebounding. And, and that comes off of defense. All righty. Well, if you need a quick family fill-up, stop in at any Bell store. They have tasty snacks and frozen treats and a fresh brewed Beantown coffee. You might also enjoy Subway or Domino's or Dairy Queen in various locations. Bell stores, handy, convenient, and, of course, great marathon gasoline. The Dover Tornadoes in command at the half. This uh, weekend, Dover will be playing at Cambridge. The Mustangs also playing on the road. Their first to three straight road games playing at Coshocton on a Friday night. We'll be back with second half action after this on Big Time Sports. Looking for a dentist for you and your family? Someone you can trust with your smile? Someone that offers emergency service as well as tender, loving care? Well, it's Dr. Sean Moan and the Dover Dental Group. Give the Dover Dental Group a call at 330-343-8132 to schedule your appointment. Find Dover Dental at 129 West 2nd Street in Dover. You've known Peterman for years as the area's premier plumbing company. Now you'll know us as the area's number one heating and cooling company, too. 
We service residential and commercial customers, and with our trained service technicians, fully stocked service trucks, and 24-hour service, why would you call anyone else? Peterman, the area's one-stop source for all your plumbing and heating and cooling needs. Call us today at 330-364-4497 or look us up online at petermanphc.com. If you think you can't afford new flooring, think again. Think you don't have time for shopping and installation? Think again. Visit One Stop Flooring next to the post office in downtown Dover. It's fast, friendly, and affordable. How affordable? The three-room special gives you up to 40 yards of new carpet with padding and installation for $426. Free in-home sample showings and estimates save you time and money. One Stop Flooring, quality flooring and expert installation at affordable prices. Call 330-364-4745. If you're looking for good food in a relaxed setting, then you need to try Malcutt's Tavern in Strasburg. Malcutt's Tavern features the very best in steaks, seafood, and pasta, and their pork chops are just fabulous. Treat yourself to something special. Take the short drive to Malcutt's Tavern in Strasburg. If it's good food you're looking for, we'll see you at Malcutt's Tavern in Strasburg. 719 South Booster Avenue in Strasburg, phone 330-878-7898. Weekend reservations suggested. At Dover Brake, they know a thing or two about brakes. After all, Dover Brake has been offering professional brake service since 1975. Be sure to visit their expanded showroom for a great selection of hard-to-find parts and accessories for your truck or commercial fleet. They offer free estimates and welcome commercial work, too. For professional brake service, see Paul and Robin McCoy and the crew at Dover Brake, Route 21 in Strasburg. Dover Brake is open six days a week. Well, the Dover Tornadoes with a big halftime lead, led by Blake Blair with 15 points, Corey Contini 11, Evan Snyder 10. Already at the half, three players in double figures for the Dover Tornadoes, who have the huge 43-point lead here at halftime. Well, for the best pizza, pasta, and salads, you just got to try Pangrazio Pizza and Spaghetti House. Pangrazio's with two locations, downtown Dover, downtown Uricksville. Before or after the game, it's always delicious at Pangrazio Pizza and Spaghetti House. Dine in or carry out. See you at Pangrazio's soon. Well, you're the Dover Tornadoes. You figure your entire bench is going to see some action tonight. You're the Claymont Mustangs. You just want the kids to keep playing hard and try to execute and get better. It's like you talked about, Matt, in the first half. Dover, they took care of the basketball. They only turned it over three or four times. They shot the ball extremely well, 65% from the field, and that all comes off of what they did on defense, forcing Claymont into 16 or 18 turnovers a game. Limited Claymont to only 11 shots total in the first half, making only two, and one of those was right off the opening tip-off. So it's just, yeah. you know, continue what you're doing here. Claymont's just got to play hard, like you said. The start of the second half brought to you by Dr. Kurt Guerin. We have number four, Routini, number uh, Ruffini, number 12, Shetler, number 13, DeLong, number three, McGarry, and number 30, Cottis on the floor for the Claymont Mustangs. That's the group that started the ball game. For the Dover Tornadoes, number 11, Corey Contini, one Snyder, or one Keith, three Snyder, 25, Blair, and 20, Laughlin, for the great shirted Dover Tornadoes. They coming into the ball game 12 and one on the year, ranks 10th in the state of Ohio. And there is a Micah Keith basket. 20 of 30 from, from the field so far tonight. That's not a bad percentage. Yeah, that sure helps. Oh uh, my. Cures all the ills. And a steal. Contini on the run. Contini lobs it underneath, and the ball knocked away, and Dover with a rare turnover. And only their fourth of the game so far. Caught us up to the floor to Ruffini. He drives. He's fouled. He'll go to the line. And the foul on Evan Snyder, his second. First on Dover in the second half of play. 
And to the charity strike, Brian Ruffini, 5'10", junior for the Mustangs. Right-handed shooter puts it up, no good. Scott Doak in his third year at the helm of the Claymont Mustangs. Been a tough year. Ruffini makes the second one. But Scott Doak knows his basketball. He's had some very good teams in the past. Been at Lakeland, at Indiana Valley, now at Claymont. Blake Blair with a ball for Dover. Blair curling into the lane. Blair kicks it out. Keith, no. Battle for the rebound. Mustangs gather it in. Cottis, front court, whips it down low. Beautiful pass and basket by McGarry. Best play of the game for the Mustangs. 52 to 10. Dover in command. You talk about veteran coaches. Bob Von Kennel, 36th year as a head coach. Ball kicked out of bounds. Now the gold standard for coaches is what, 300 victories? Uh, yeah, I would say. And Bob Von Kennel with 569 victories coming into the ball game tonight. Inbound to Blair, launches the tray, rim no, rebound, controlled by the Mustangs. It's Shetler who pulled it down. Shetler, Cottis, drives, ball stripped away. Blair comes up with it. Down the floor to Snyder, easy to 12 for Snyder. Bob Von Kendall, a 1973 graduate of Strasburg High School. He's younger than Charlie Jones. That's hard to believe. Well, most people are younger than Charlie Jones. Yeah, that's true. Dover with wholesale substitutions now here in the third quarter of play. What Coach Von Kennel is looking for here now in this type of a game is he doesn't want his team to get sloppy. He doesn't want them to quit playing defense because down the road, you know, these guys coming off the bench could be a valuable commodity in some game. This is Brass. Dover with Brass. The Ravine at the point. Laughlin still out there for Dover to Brass. The jump shot is up and it no good. That was Ross taking the shot for Dover as the Tornadoes with odds to substitutions and the Mustangs with another turnover. 21. Three minutes into the third quarter. And a front court now for the Dover Tornadoes. Zach Ruffine has it taken away by Ruffini. Breakaway leaves it up and in. Ruffini now with three points of the contest. Zach Ruffini, 6'2 junior for the Tornadoes to Randazzo, to Brass. Brass right to the lane, kicks it out to Ross. Long jump shot is up, no good. Tip up and in by Ravine. And a Ravine now with three points in the game. Joe Cottis, a freshman guard, brings it across the timeline for the Claymont Mustangs. And the Mustangs lose it again. Ravine picks up the loose ball on the break, lays it in. Ravine with five. These guys, too, for the Dover Tornadoes, they want to show Coach Von Kettle something and well, you, you be that man off the bench. You, you don't play for Coach Von Kettle unless you play defense, unless you hustle. Shetler giving it to Cottis. Cottis lays it up at it. He now has four in the ball game. And I believe he's their leading scorer. Average is about 11 a game, I believe. You are correct. Ravine trying to bring it up to the floor and facing some pretty good defense from Brian Ruffini. And 
And it'll be Mustang basketball for the Mustangs. Back into the ball game, Gavin Mooneyham. Sophomore inbounds the ball to Cottis, a freshman. Green Dazzo on the defense. Bounce pass goes right past everybody and out of bounds. It'll be Dover basketball, 3.20 to play, third quarter. Evan Snyder into the front court to Ross. Ross against Shetler. Ross gives to Brass. Dover continuing to work around the perimeter. Good ball movement. Low to Brass. Puts it up. No, but he's fouled. And it is Shetler on the foul. That's his second. And the first on the team. You can see it on the Weaver Barnes replay. See the little two-man game there. They try to double team. He dumps it off. Shetler can't quite get set off the uh, just a pass. Fraction of a second too late. And the first foul shot by Brass is good. He has eight. The second one is good. He has nine. And the Dover Tornadoes continue to control the ball game. Mooneyham driving to the basket is fouled, and I believe oh. 32. Randazzo, his first, team second. Inbound to Potomsky, drives to the basket and drops it in. Logan Potomsky, his first two, son of Coach Dave Potomsky, had been at Strasburg, Central Catholic, Downton. This is Ross to the end line. Brass kicks it out front. Randazzo to Snyder. Low to Ross. Back to Randazzo. Three ball. Yeah. Randazzo now with seven in the ball game. Dover just continues to find that open man. High post Potopsky. Potopsky spins to the basket, throws it up, no good. Backside a rebound, controlled by Dover. Ross coming down with it. He'll give it to Evan Snyder. Snyder cruises into the front court. Pass goes right wing, and it is knocked out of bounds. It will be McGarry into the ball game, and we'll be back right after this on Big Time Sports. Do you enjoy the outdoors? Ever dream of owning a cabin or vacation home? At Weaver Barns, we build buildings perfect for all those dreams. From our cabins to our majestic timber lodge, from small sheds to big barns, Weaver Barns has the perfect solution for you. Come see for yourself at our display lot, located on State Route 39 in Sugar Creek. Visit our website at weaverbarns.com or give us a call at 888-289-4940. Welcome to Mount Hope Fence, located in Mount Hope, Ohio, where you can add elegance to your outdoor space with one of our durable, low-maintenance pavilions, gazebos, or pergolas. Choose one from our showroom, or we can build to order. Add to your backyard escape with a stone fireplace or other landscape ideas. More than just fence, we're about the full line of outdoor living products. All of our products come with a lifetime warranty. Click online at mounthopefence.com or visit our showroom at 7102 County Road 77. Mount Hope Fence. We've got the inside on the outdoors. If you want to make your business successful for years to come, then you need to partner with Graphic Publications and our Bluefoot Digital Products. Our customers receive a strategic marketing plan in both digital and print media that can include website design, hosting and content creation, interactive mobile apps, videos and graphic design. For the past 40 years, Graphic Publications has been helping businesses grow with our innovative marketing solutions that enable you to reach and exceed your goals. Contact Graphic Publications at 888-674-1010. Make your vehicle last longer and run better. Fix it with parts from Harrison Napa Auto Parts in Sugar Creek. With over 20,000 parts in stock, our ASE certified staff will get you the right part right away and get your vehicle running. Order your part online and pick it up. Just log on to NapaOnline.com. Call us at 330-852-4671 or visit us at Harrison Napa Auto Parts, 793 Dover Road in Sugar Creek. Get your car running smooth with Harrison Napa Auto Parts. 
Shook Auto is the largest independent vehicle sales company in the area. With over 300 vehicles in stock ranging from $1,000 to $30,000 and everywhere in between. Shook Auto employs a full staff of ASE certified technicians. They service what they sell. Shook Auto has two locations. 1633 Steel Hill Road and 205 South Broadway in New Philadelphia. Online at ShookAuto.com. Mustangs with the basketball and throwing it up for three is Smith. He now has six in the ball game. Nice shot by Smith and it's 63 to 19. Claymont had just seven points at halftime, so this is their best quarter thus far in the scoring column. And from the corner, Ross for three for Dover. And Ross, his first points of the night. A minute to play, third quarter. Potopsky. Potopsky gives it up to Mooneyham. To Smith, again the three ball, too short. Rebound controlled by Dover. Ravine, long pass down the floor to Brass. Brass in the lane. Rim falls off. Potopsky the rebound for the Mustangs. The other way, Claymont on the run. It is Smith. Scoops it up off the glass. No good. And Dover's got the carry. It is Snyder. And he's fouled in the lane. Cottis committing the foul. That's his second, team second. And it'll be Evan Snyder to the charity strike. Weaver Barnes replay. Nice move by Snyder. And Cottis got him on the arm. Snyder with 13 points now after making the first one. We'll be picking our man a restaurant player of the game at the conclusion of the contest. Line to the right. Foul shot up and in. Snyder with 14. Dover even shooting foul shots well tonight, Matt. They've only averaged 65% so far tonight. They're 9 out of 10 from the free throw strike. They're doing everything right tonight. Yes, they are. Potopsky, Cottis, Smith. Set a couple of trays here in the half. And another Mustang turnover. Ross sets for three off the rim. No, Cottis gets the rebound for the Mustangs. Down the floor to McGarry. Keeps it in play as time expires here in the quarter. Dover 68, Claymont 19. We'll be back after this on Big Time Sports. Since 1972, Taylor Insurance and Financial Services has been serving the Tuscarawas Valley with friendly and professional advice. With over 100 years of combined experience, Taylor Insurance and Financial Services offers the best in auto and home insurance, 401k rollovers, IRA transfers, and a full line of property and casualty coverage. With two locations to serve you, 4th Street Northwest in New Philadelphia and on 2nd Street in Coshocton, there's no need to look any further than Taylor Insurance and Financial Services. Walton's Auto and Glass has been a family-owned and operated automotive parts shop since the days of the Model T. Walton's carries auto parts and paint as well as glass for your every need, including tabletops, mirrors, shelves, windows, and frames. Walton specializes in replacement and repair of automotive, ATV, and residential glass and takes pride in giving you OEM quality or better for your new or antique car. With a successful business since 1931, you know you can trust Walton's. Find them at 371 South Broadway in New Philadelphia. It's time to tailgate, and that means it's time for carryout buckets of delicious Manor chicken. Whether you're going to the game or just need a quick dinner for your family, choose the Manor restaurant in Strasburg. With their buckets of chicken and homemade sides, it's the easy way to enjoy a great meal before the game or anytime. The Manor is open six days a week, closed Mondays. For homemade flavor, never outdone. Come on down for great food and fun. The Manor restaurant on Northwester Avenue in Strasburg. Do you want a happy and healthy pet? 
Pets Place offers great service and the healthiest of dog and cat foods. We carry a wide range of all-natural dog chews, biscuits, and a huge selection of toys, a DIY pet wash, and all other pet needs. Pets Place offers a great selection of freshwater fish, small animal reptiles, and birds. So bring your pet to Pets Place, 118 Commercial Avenue Southwest in New Philadelphia, or check us out on the web at www.petsplace.com. Remodeling and improving your home are always in season. Bring your ideas to your showroom at Holmes Lumber Design Center, downtown Sugar Creek. Featuring craft-made kitchens and bath displays with custom countertops, plus Anderson and Atrium windows and Provia windows and doors. Rooftop shingle delivery of top shingle brands. Make a fun space with Azek and TimberTech decks. Excellent interior millwork from our own facility. Hardwood interior doors and stair railings. Improve your home. We can help at Holmes Lumber Design Center, downtown Sugar Creek. It's all about you. It's all about you. The more we know you and your financial goals, the more easily we can help you achieve them. Talk to us. Find out why so many of your neighbors come by and talk with our trained loan officers. Around here, it's all about you. First National Bank of Denison, member FDIC. It's all about you. Claymont's only turned it over 24 times. 24 turnovers? Yeah. Hoss body shop recap. Oh. Well, like you said, 68-19. They've turned the ball over 24 times. Dover shot the ball once again extremely well. You know, that this snowball started rolling down the hill after the opening tip, and it's just gotten bigger and bigger. And, Claymont hasn't had any answer of any kind for uh, Dover so far. There's a lot of drive throughs but only one shortstop drive through Open at 6 a.m. for hot coffee and Rod's Donuts and your favorite beverages. The shortstop is located on North Dawson and Uricksville. They're open from 6A to 11P. Owners Doug and Becky Henry also have the CJ's drive through on Grant Street in Denison. Your Dover Dental Group fan cam. Some folks up top enjoying the ball game as the Mustangs get it to begin the final quarter of play. Dover leading it 68 to 19, and it goes out of bounds to the Mustangs. This is Logan Potofsky at the foul line. Looking for some help. Gets it to McGarry. McGarry to Cottis. Throws into the corner to Mooneyham. Back to Cottis. Baseline jumper up at it. Nice shot. He has six in the game. Nice looking freshman there, Matt. Ravine front court for Dover. Ravine. Throws on the left side to Javersack into the contest. And he gives the basketball to Bardol. Javersack, right of the lane. And we had a whistle, and I believe the foul on Potopsky of the Mustangs. That is the foul, uh, first foul on Potopsky. You can see it on. The replay here, yeah, Potopsky with a reach in right there. A ravine bounces it low to Ross, and he steps on the end line and will give the ball back to the Claymont Mustangs. B&T Tire Service is located at 602 East High in New Philly, across from Bud and Tooties. They've got Mitchell and Cooper and General Tires. Uh, B&T Tire Service, brake repair, brake lines, their specialty, a foul call inside. I believe it was on Javersack. That would be his first. It puts Logan Potomsky, who is two points tonight at the foul line, playing just his second game of the season. Becoming eligible after a transfer, he now has three points. Had eight points in his first ball game. The next one by Logan, no good. And the rebound chased down by the Tornadoes. Ravine to Javersack. Javersack. Wing to the right, Bardol. Bardol driving to the hoop. Puts it up, no. And another whistle 
And another foul. It'll be Bardot at the line. Weaver Barn replay. You see, good, good drive to the basket. Takes it strong, takes it up strong, gets fouled. Bruce, did you know that the first ever instant replay was in the Army-Navy game? I think it was 1963. Didn't know that. The fellow that invented or came up with the instant replay, he passed away He's this passed past away. weekend. Bardol's foul shots won't go. Remain 68 to 22, Dover. It's a CBS television broadcast. And it had everybody confused. They thought it was another touchdown. Another, another play. <laughs> Smith, long jump shot, no good. A rebound controlled by the Tornadoes. Long pass down the floor. Bardot holds it in and wisely hangs on to the basketball. And his pass in the lane taken away by the Mustangs. It is Ruffini. Smith, wing to the right. Smith against Bardol. Smith will drive to the basket, bank it up. No, but is fouled by Bardol on the way to the hoop. First on Bardol, and it will put Smith to the foul line. Replay there. Not very good defense, but a good drive to the basket. Jake Smith. Line left, got it. Seven for Smith. Javers, uh, let's see, into the ball game for Dover is Donnie Harris replacing Ravine. And Smith, line to the left. He missed it. And the rebound pulled down by Callahan, and Callahan is fouled by... Ruffini. And it will be Dover basketball. 5.38 to play in the contest. Javersack into the front court. Javersack's pass onto the right wing, knocked out of bounds. And whose basketball is it? It will belong to the Dover. The Tornadoes. Inbound comes into Ross. Harris at the point. Harris, Javersack. Javersack, baseline right. His pass on the wing, knocked out of bounds. Mustangs continuing to play hard. Ruffini knocked it out of bounds. Bardol will inbound for Dover into the game. Another substitution. And it is Harris between the circles. Harris. Pass goes wing to the right. Back to Harris on top. Dover continuing to work the ball. Terry to take good care of the ball. It is Noah Randazzo to Bardot, wing to the right. And a reach-in foul on Ruffini of the uh, Claymont Mustangs. Ruffini committing his second foul of the contest. Javersack with a basketball. Guarded by McGarry. Javersack to the hole. Blocked from behind. Harris chases it down. Harris will drive to the basket, and Harris is fouled by DeLong. That's a third foul on DeLong, and Harris will go to the line for the Dover Tornadoes. A Ducini drug, taking your medicine at the right time is important. Ducini drug is the right tool to help you follow your medication instructions as Harris makes the foul shot. We call it Simplify My Meds. If you'd like to take or make taking your medications less complicated. Ducini Drug is here to help, and Harris makes them both. Ducini Drug, give them a call today at 
364-5519 or stop by at the pharmacy at 315 East High Avenue in New Philadelphia. Simplify my meds exclusively at Ducini Drugs. A Mustang turnover gives it back to Dover. Noah Randazza, Bardol. Bardol at the point. Harris, high to the left. Pass in the lane, nice pass. Missed shot, Harris scrambles for the rebound, loses it, Dover picks it up. Bardol loses it driving inside. And a Smith takes it into the front court for the Mustangs. Guarded there by Bardot. Smith in front of the Claymont Bunch. Underhands to DeLong. To Smith. Long three ball. Yes! And Smith now with ten points of the ball game. First Mustang into double figures tonight. Javersack with a right hand dribble into the front court. And we have a whistle and a foul away from the ball called against a Ruffini. That's his third, all of them coming in this half. And the Mustangs with some more substitutions. Cottis, Topsky back into the ball game. At the line for the Dover Tornadoes is Tyler Bardall, 6'2 sophomore. He is the son of a coach, Scott Bardall, on the Dover bench. So Scott with some very successful years as a boys and girls basketball coach. Now an assistant with the Dover Tornadoes. Second shot by Bardol, no good. And the rebound chased down by the Mustangs. Mooneyham into the front court. Ball stolen away by Harris. Down the floor. Dover driving, no. Bardol, no good. Next shot up and in. By the Dover Tornadoes, Noah Randazzo with a basket. 73-26, Dover. Caught us into the front court, and a whistle and a foul. We'll take a timeout on Big Time Sports. Martini 97 in downtown Dover is T-County's home for Buckeye Nation. Meet your friends and cheer on the Buckeyes on nine flat screen TVs. Martini 97 opens at noon on Saturdays for Buckeye games and college football. Pizza and beverage specials on game day make your celebration complete. And the party doesn't stop there. Every Friday and Saturday night, Martini 97 features the hottest area bands with no cover. Why pay just to get into your favorite hangout? Come to Martini 97 and the party's on us. Martini 97 on North Tuscarawas Avenue in downtown Dover. Home improvements make your life easier and add to the aesthetics and value of your home. Look to the Wayne Garage Door Sales and Service Showroom for garage doors, entry doors, storm doors, windows, gutters, siding, heritage stone, and awnings. Plus knowledgeable associates to help you create a distinct look for your home. Wayne Garage Door, quality workmanship and service after the sale since 1973 on State Route 39 in Dover. More than just garage doors. Let Designer Stone bring the beauty of natural stone into your home. Now granite from Designer Stone is affordable for your home. Granite is ideal for kitchen countertops, bathrooms and floors, and is elegant and unique in color and patterns. Make granite from Designer Stone the choice to beautify your home. Call Designer Stone today at 1-866-860-4747. Why do more employers and employees choose AltCare? It's easy. AltCare is the top-ranked plan in Ohio and one of the highest-rated health insurance plans in the nation. Access to doctors and hospitals you want, quick and accurate claim service, and a personal one-on-one -on -one approach are just a few of the reasons customers stay with us year after year. Exemplary service from caring professionals who you've grown to trust. Committed to our community, committed to you. The choice is clear. Choose AltCare. Dumont Sporting Goods has been outfitting winning teams since 1977. Put Doug Clark and his experienced staff to work for your team. See them for school jackets, self-screening, and embroidery. Dumont's is especially proud to be your exclusive area Russell Athletic Team Specialist. 
all of the name brands you love close to home. That's Dumont's Sporting Goods on Tuscross Avenue in downtown Dover. Team specialists since 1977. Tell me, are you confident in your financial game plan? I'm Matt Ferris, President of Ferris Financial. If you're like most people, you've probably spent a lot of time talking about getting your financial affairs in order, but for some reason, the game plan has never come together. At Ferris Financial, we're here to help you solidify your personal, business, and estate planning goals so we can build a winning game plan together and help you achieve peace of mind. Call us at 330-321-1413. Ferris Financial, helping you plan, protect, and prosper. Mustangs with the basketball after the foul. Pass inside. Goes out of bounds off of the hands of Dover, and it will be Claymont basketball from the end line with 2.42 to play in the contest. Ball knocked out of bounds. Attention in the kitchen. There is good news for pasta lovers. Treat your noodles to the best. That's the delicious Chibos pasta sauce. Meat or meatless Chibos pasta sauce, just like Grandma used to make. You can find it at McCombs Market, Mako's, Michelli Meats, the Bueller stores. Chibos pasta sauce. You're not going to find any better anywhere. Foul call. And inbounding the ball in the end line will be the Claymont Mustangs as that call went against Donnie Harris. And Cottis deals it loaded to DeLong. DeLong tries to give it back to Cottis, knocked back into his hands, and he put it up. DeLong, his first two of the game. 73 28 tornadoes. Jabbersack front court for Dover. Gives it on top to Harris. Harris, Bardol, wing left. Gives on top, Randazzo to Javersack on the three-point line. Will now drive, blocked by Potopsky, and he got the rebound. Front court, Cottis. Cottis deals to Shetler. And we have a collision and a whistle away from the ball. The foul was on DeLong, and that's his fourth. Oh, no. We're going to the other end to shoot the foul shots. Uh, we're going to the other end with the basketball, Player not into the bonus. Foul, yeah. Yeah. All right. Ravine at the point, and a Ravine is fouled by Cottis. The Mustangs getting a little chippy here now with the uh, yeah, but benches the, cleared. And the Mustangs continuing to play hard. The officials having a word with the players to kind of. Keep their cool. Just a minute 38 to play. You don't want to do anything dumb. It is Ravine, line to the right. His foul shot is up at it. You know, you look at this. The Claymont's turned the ball over 26 times tonight. They've only, only taken 25 shots, so half their possessions have been turnover almost tonight. Javersack rebounds with a missed foul shot. His shot no good. And Mooneyham controls it for the Mustangs, gives to Cottis. And Cottis will bring it into the front court. Cottis tries to throw it low to Potopsky, and it's out of bounds, and there's another Mustang turnover. Brickhouse Beverage is conveniently located just a block off Worcester Avenue, your one-stop shop for all your pregame or postgame snacks and refreshments. Rebound controlled by the... Dover Tornadoes and a whistle and a foul and Ham is going to go to the foul line for uh, the Tornadoes and the foul's on DeLong. That is his fifth. Ohio Lottery sold to the Brickhouse Beverage. You can buy your ticket without even leaving your car. Locally owned and operated. Check out the weekly specials at Brickhouse Beverage drive through at the corner of Race and 2nd Street in Dover. Charlie Ham wide or line to the right for the Tornadoes put it up and in, and Ham has his first point of the night. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A whole bunch of tornadoes have scored. Ham misses the second one. 75 to 28. Dover. A minute to play in the game. Wing to the right. Ruffini. Long bombs. No good. Javersack high for the rebound for Dover. Clear to Ravine. And Ravine, front court. Ham. Over to Javersack, he drives a collision, and it'll be Javersack going to the line, and the foul will go against Smith. That's his first. And it, Javersack, line right for Dover with 53 seconds to play in the game. His foul shot spins out. On this Dover Tornado roster, you have Javersack, Evan Snyder, and Corey Concini. Those three guys caught a lot of passes for the football team this past fall, didn't they? Yes, they did. Javersack missed them, and the Mustangs for the basketball. It is Ruffini giving it to Smith, back to Ruffini. Underhands to Smith, lob to Potopsky, double teamed in the lane, puts it up, no, Javersack got the carom for Dover, runs it into the front court, Javersack's pass, knocked away, put up by Bardol, no good, scramble for the rebound, and Bardol gathered it in again, and his foul going up on a second try, and it'll be Bardol going to Barn. A lot of whistles here in this fourth quarter play. That foul was on Potopsky, his third to the charity strike. It's Bardol, his foul shot, back of the rim it in. Got the good bounce, first point of the game for Bardol. Now he has two in the contest. Line right, Bardol's foul shot spins out. Rebound gathered in by Potopsky. And up to the floor for the Mustangs. Another whistle and a foul on the drive by Ruffini. And Ruffini to the line with 11 seconds to play. The foul on Bardal, his second. And Ruffini foul shot. It's good. He has four on the night. Harris back in, and Ravine is out for Dover. For the final 11.5 seconds in the contest. Second foul shot, no good. Javersack into the front court. Javersack to Ham. Ham, Javersack, Javersack, jumper at the buzzer, no. And that's it, the Dover Tornadoes. Rolling to the victory, 76 to 29 against the Claymont Mustangs. We'll be back with all of our post-game activities right after this on this on Big Time Sports. Here's a year-end clearance that even Santa will enjoy. Hi, this is Pat Ferris from Ferris Toyota. Ferris and Toyota have teamed up for great year-end savings on some of America's best-selling cars, trucks, and SUVs. Save up to $4,000 on 2014 Camrys and up to $5,000 on Siennas, Avalons, and Tundras. And every Toyota comes with 24 months of no-charge maintenance. It's the year-end clearance event on all 2014 Toyotas at Ferris Toyota on the Wabash in New Philadelphia. 77 Inn and Grill is T County's newest place to stay and play. Relax overnight in the luxurious 77 Inn or kick back with friends in the sports bar with 17 big screens. Having a party? Ask about a private party room. 77 Inn and Grill has fantastic stay, wine, and dine packages. Great for the holidays or a weekend away from home, but close to home. 77 Bar and Grill. Food, fun, sports, and lodging all on Commercial Parkway and Dover. Online at 77inandgrill.com. There are hospitals, there are health systems, but there's nothing quite like this. The Altman system needs A-class care. All of the services and care you need together. All of the most expert caregivers together. All of this joins together and together with you to lead our community to improved health. 
Welcome to the shape of advanced healthcare. At Altman, healthier together. Woods Tall Timber Resort is a vacation that's close to home. The seven-acre lake is the focal point of the resort with camping May through October. Splash away your summer days at the beach and in the fall enjoy brilliant colors from your own private cottage. Whether you enjoy primitive camping or the amenities of home, Woods Tall Timber Resort has it all. Luxurious cottages feature equipped kitchens, a full bathroom, and room for eight guests. The resort includes a clubhouse, concession stand, bait shop, shower house, and laundromat. And the recreation never ends. Enjoy summer fun on water slides, inflatable trampolines, paddle boats, and electric boats, plus house rentals, fishing, game room, playground, woodpecker par 3 golf, and miniature golf, and of course hiking trails. And now Woods Tall Timber Resort has zip lines. It's the best value around for this exciting way to fly. Rides start at just $15. Small zips and kitty zips are also available. And the Lake House Lodge can accommodate your party, reception, reunion, or event. Check out all of the fun online at woodstalltimberlake.com. This is the Ferris Chevrolet postgame show on Big Time Sports. The Claymont, excuse me, the Claymont Mustangs improving to 13 and 1 on the year, and the Claymont Mustangs dropping to 1 and 12, 76 to 29. Your final score: Dover will be at Cambridge Friday night. The Mustangs will be at Coshocton. And with a look at our final numbers in the ball game, here's Bruce Winter. Yeah, numbers pretty much reflect how this game went, Matt. I mean. Dover shot the lights out from the uh, field, 26 of 50 from the field, over 50%. Claymont, on the other hand, only getting 28 shots the whole game because of Dover's defense, 10 of 28. Free throw line, Dover 15 of 24. Most of those misses coming in the fourth quarter when the uh, bench was in the game. Claymont 6 of 12. Dover commanded the boards 32 to Claymont 16, and the turnover game wasn't even close. Claymont turning the ball over a whopping 29 times. Most of those forced turnovers, Dover 10 times. It adds up to the 76 to 29 Claymont victory. The, or the uh, Dover victory. Our Manor Restaurant player of the game, Evan Snyder. I had him for 14 points tonight for the uh, Dover Tornadoes. He had a bunch of steals as well. Do we have that? Uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. Five? Evan Snyder with five steals. Yep. Yes. Five steals and 15 points. He uh, had an outstanding game tonight. Evan Snyder is our Manor Restaurant player of the game for the Dover Tornadoes. Uh, Blake Blair actually led Dover with 15 points, and Corey Contini had 11. Jake Smith, 10 points for the Claymont Mustangs. Our financial, Ferris Financial, it pays to plan play of the ball game. Right here. Take a look at this. You see there's Contini into the corner, back out front. That's a good job of showing Dover how they moved the ball, didn't stand around, didn't hold the ball, finally find the open man, knocks down the three. That is Snyder draining that uh, three-pointer, three of his 14 points, and that kind of ball movement and some great defense. Uh, uh, real keys tonight for the Dover victory. So the Dover Tornadoes roll into the win, knocking off the Claymont Mustangs, 76 to 29. For Bruce Witter, this is Matt Ritzert wishing you a pleasant good evening.